the following statements are correct for a organic farming first is a it is peptidized without the factory made chemicals and second statement it does not affect the environment in a negative manner in a negative manner so which of which of the following are the correct only one is correct second is correct both are correct or neither one neither two not two first statement is a uh, it is peptidized without the factory made chemicals and it does not affect the environment in a negative manner or yes, both are correct both are arrange the following crops as per as per the required amount of rainfall in descending order for their growth options are cotton rubber and wheat yes sir brief your answer cotton rubber good morning sir yes good morning cotton cannot be grown in a assam i'm repeating again the assertion is a cotton can not be grown in assam and the reason is a the crop needs bright sunshine sunshine sorry and 210 days of a frost free weather conditions so garima which option you will choose from a assertion reason first second third or fourth prabhun said a is sir, third. third option third option a is true and r is false r is false the a is false then it will be a false option. r is true a is false and r is true a is false and r is true cotton cannot be grown in assam in assam they can we can produce as a jute which require as a hot and dry weather sorry hot and humid weather conditions cotton can possible to produce in areas of a hot and dry weather conditions but in areas where as a frost has appear frost free days kohra red the frost free days 210 days of frost free are required for the production of a cotton reason is a correct very good garima next one keshav gupta okay keshav gupta keshav gupta next assertion is a pulses are grown in rotation with other crops pulses are grown in rotation with other crop the reason is it helps in restoring the soil fertility by fixing the nitrogen from the air so keshav gupta you will choose the which option i'm again repeating as a assertion is a pulses are grown in rotation with other crops and it helps in restoring the soil fertility by fixing the nitrogenous content from the air keshav do you know the answer keshav hello yes aditya answer sir it is practiced on small patches of land and it is known as a slash and burn agriculture it means both the statements are incorrect in relation to the subsistence primitive no, primitive subsistence farm no sir they are they are correct they are correct means the rest of the two are incorrect yes sir okay means the dependence on a monsoons is incorrect but this is as a reality present still as a present as a 60 percentage of the farmers are directly dependent on monsoons if the monsoons are not normal in occur if the monsoons are not as a normal rainfall cause in india then it will adversely impact on a production adversely impact on production it is also associated with the monsoons because around the 400 600 1000 years back around the 1000 years back or in our past tribals they were not used as the canals for the irrigation they were dependent on a rain they were dependent on monsoonal rain for the production means three statements are correct one is incorrect modern inputs are not used subsist primitive subsistence farming modern inputs are not used it is as practiced on a small patch, patches of a land that land smaller sizes of a land it has leads to the uh, division of a land due to as a generations rule of heredity the law of heredity heritance 
land inheritance has makes the smaller agriculture fields generally as a tribes practice in a smaller agriculture fields second they are dependent on a monsoon monsoonal rain third they are practicing as a slash and burn burn agriculture these three are correct only as a modern inputs are incorrect in relation to the primitive subsistence farming next question dhamesh dhamesh raise your hand very good yes dhamesh question is a rabi crops rabi crops are grown in rabi crops are grown in first option onset of monsoons on the onset of monsoons second is from september to october september to october third from april to june and b none not yes not yes dhamesh yes sir answer sir repeat the options question is a rabi crops are generally growing in a dash first onset of monsoons second is from september to october third is april to june fourth none not yes not b option b option very good none because rabi crops are growing, uh, they are sowing at the month of uh, october to november october to november or we can say as a december very good next is a uh, aditi raise your hand aditi and rahul aditi and rahul raise your hands a variety of food and non food crops are grown in different parts of the country this is the assertion aditi and the reason is it is due to the variation in a soil and climatic conditions which option you will choose aditi nirula aditi sir a option both assertion and reason are correct because there are a number variety of crops are there food crops as a wheat rice maize and the fodder crops non food sorry non food crops as a veggie vegetables and the fruits are also producing in a different parts of a country as differently why because of a different types of a soils are available these are present in a different parts of a country and the climatic conditions they make sure or the possibilities for a growth of a production of crops production of crops now let's start as a uh, these students they have to raise their hands sajpreet simalin prabnur and prabgun i am repeat, repeating again sajpreet simalin prabgun and prabnur so these are the definitions which term has associated with that particular statement jowar so please repeat the question jowar bajra jowar bajra and dash are important millets grown in india which is sir ragi very good thank you prabhun prabhun your turn yes sir production of a grape for a wine industry is known as Produ yes sir production of grapes production of grapes specifically for a wine industry is known as sir yes prabhun singh rearing of the silk worms yes sir rearing of a agriculture sir repeat it sericulture sir down sorry okay you have to identify the type of agriculture it's a labor intensive farming using the high doses of a biochemical inputs specifically used in a densely populated areas known as could you please repeat it it's a labor intensive farming it's a kind of a farming which is a labor intensive in which as a high doses of a biochemical inputs are required which is generally practiced in a densely populated areas Yes, Tabun. 
very good ashdeep correct answer ashdeep garima aditi correct answer one more given as a garima is incorrect it's not a commercial farming it is a intensive subsistence farming intensive subsistence farming intensive subsistence farming intensive subsistence farming now let's we move towards the first chapter of our resources prabhur singh raise your hand again prabhur singh prabhur singh yes bachi arrange the following arrange the following land use patterns of india in correct sequence correct sequence as ascending order land use patterns in india in india in ascending order options are forest net zone area and current fallow land current fallow land prabhur singh sir repeat the question the following number of a land use patterns in ascending order ascending order options are forest net zone area and the current fallow land land under the current fellow sir current fellow current fellow net zone area and forest current fellow net zone area and forest no net zone area current and forest land net zone area current fellow land because the land which has used once in a year once in a year for production is a net zone area afterwards the land remain as unused land remain has unused so net zone area net zone area current fallow lands and forest next question which form of the erosion is the more which form of erosion is the more prevalent in a deserts in deserts ashin which form of erosion is a more effective on a desert areas ashin ka sir sheet erosion sheet erosion s h e t sheet erosion the type of alluvial soils type of alluvial soils found in a deserts sorry found in a deltas which has present in a deltas which has present in deltas aditi a type of alluvial soils found in deltas which has consisting of finer materials fine materials these soils are the more fertile so which kind Khadir. of it? sorry khader khader lies in a parts of deltas then a type of alluvial soil present in a plains of punjab are bhangar aditi yes aditi yes sir bhangar it will be as lies in a bhangar lies in a Uh, uh sorry plains of india when the river has leaves some mountains and enters in a plains it has deposited the sediments along their margins to which the bhangar has came into existence aditi as yes, according sir. to you the khader has generally found in a delta in correct bhangar has lies in a deltas the older alluvium yeah. older alluvium because at that time the river has reaches at their mouth till that mouth the number of a sediments which eroded by the river from the mountains it spend as a more time these are the fresh in form which is known as a newer alluvium newer alluvium it has deposited at the valleys at the plains plains tarai to kabhi bhi nahi hoga wo mishti tarai to ho hi nahi sakta tarai are the wetlands are lies in a lower parts of a shivaliks lower parts of shivaliks lower parts of shivaliks the marshy lands which has generally occur in a deltas it's due to as a presence of a saline water 
saline and a fresh water booth are consisting in a deltas both are consisting in delta such deep deltaic soil is a deltaic soil it's not a type of alluvial soil clear alluvial soil has there are four forms one as a bhabar khadar bhangar and tarai t e r a i t e r a i so name the types of resources name the types of resources which can renew to the process of reproduction process of reproduction such resources are known as such resources imani kumar are known as renewable renewable resources means sunlight it, it can be as renew to the process of reproduction imani kumar sunlight water land air these can be as renewed or renewed to the process of reproduction no sir crops are required frost free weather conditions frost free weather conditions yes sir we Kushi Razor and Kushi